Hey, it's Andrea Harkins. Welcome to the Martial Arts Woman Podcast. This podcast is devoted to martial art women who make a difference. Today, to kick things off, I'm going to share why martial art women are so important. I think we really need to consider the role that they play in our world today and how important that is. Plus, sending an open invitation to martial art women who want to share a story or two about how they make a difference in the martial arts. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Finally, I'm going to share how I overcame one of the most difficult times in my life and how I used my martial art mindset to do that. Remember, using martial arts to save a life is not always what you think. First, though, Let's talk a little bit about why martial art women are so important and why martial arts are so important to women as well. I think, first of all, we all recognize that women bring a different training perspective to the mat than men. In my opinion, women train for all the right reasons. Defense is one, but a lot of the other reasons are for personal challenge, achievement, endeavor, cultivation of a strong and confident mindset. And this is exactly what we need to be successful in all that we do, whether it's motherhood, career, self, the world around us. Yes, it's great to defend and learn all the traditions of a martial art. In fact, you have to do all of that first before you ever really get to the point that I'm talking about right now which is the martial art mindset and applying that to your everyday life and the world around you. Martial arts are really a tool to become stronger and capable and confident women, leaders, and role models. In fact, martial arts are a self-discovery. If I look back on some of my experiences in the past, I recognize that in the beginning, when I began learning martial arts about 30 years ago, I was really afraid of it. I thought, what is this? It's very physical. It asks me to do a lot of the things that I've been raised not to do, like breaking things or yelling or punching. And those little barriers were the first steps forward for me as a martial art woman to recognize that I can do so much more than I realize. I'm so much more capable of improvement and achievement and success. Have you ever felt that way? Faced a challenge or a fear and thought, there's no way I'm ever going to get over this. There's no way I'm going to overcome this. This is too much for me. Well, martial arts teach you that you can overcome, you can persevere. And in fact, every little martial art achievement, skill, drill, brings you closer to recognizing who you are as a woman, as a martial art woman. Because we have a different perspective than men, let's be honest. Men and women are different and see the world differently and see martial arts differently as well. It's so important as women that we know how to defend ourselves It's so important that we gain uh, better physicality, work harder toward our goals, understand that we can overcome, continually push ourselves so we can learn and we can be as good as anyone else in the martial art or whatever it might be that we're pursuing. So martial arts really give us that different perspective as a woman, especially stepping into a challenge like martial arts when you've never really done it before. You don't know what to expect, but so many martial art women go through the experience and learn that they can do so much more than they ever realized. I think that's one of the biggest lessons that martial art women learn, that we are strong, we can fight back if necessary, we have the mindset to push through some of the most difficult times in our lives because martial arts helped us. Whereas before, when we didn't use martial arts or we didn't train in martial arts, 
we never understood that we can persevere and we can push through barriers. I can't tell you how many women have told me stories, personal stories of struggle, whether with cancer or relationships or success or career, who one day didn't know how to get through it, but the next, after learning martial arts, recognize the value of the mindset that they learn from martial arts and that if they can break a board, then they can go to a chemotherapy session and get through it. Or they can get through a, a difficult time in their life, whether it's a miscarriage or some other devastation. They immediately apply the martial art mindset and that's what the difference is. That's what the difference is between a woman who practices martial arts and who doesn't practice martial arts. It's the ability to understand that you have some control over how you see things. And if you use a positive mindset, you use a martial art mindset, you use the, the tenets that you've learned in martial arts about integrity and perseverance, that suddenly opportunities open up and the ability to make some changes that are positive in your life occur. So I hope that you understand and I hope that you're a martial art woman who is in a journey that empowers you to do more, to be more, and to understand that you have the capability to achieve, that your dreams can come true, that you can overcome and that's what martial arts gave to me. So I hope that you have a sense of that in your life as well. So I also wanted to talk about today a little bit about how you can maybe share your story on my podcast, The Martial Arts Woman. If you have a story to tell or you'd like to talk about how you make a difference in the world each and every day, because of martial arts, then I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Facebook or Instagram, on my blog, themartialartswoman.com, and contact me there and let me know what you'd like to talk about, and we'll, we'll chat about it and see where we can fit it in in the podcast. And all I ask is that stories be inspiring, motivational, and show the positive benefits of being a martial art woman to share with you a story that really demonstrates how the martial art woman mindset helped me as a woman. And it's a story that happened a little more than 19 years ago. And I was pregnant with my third child. And at five months of pregnancy, I went into labor and ended up going to the hospital and being hospitalized in bed rest for six weeks being told each day that they weren't certain that I would be able to deliver this child um, and still have him be alive. So it was a really devastating time because I was very lonely. My husband was with the other two kids. I was on bed rest in a hospital where I didn't know anybody, being told every day that if your baby comes today, he might be deaf or he might not breathe or he might not see and it was this constant uh, inundation of negative, worrisome, scary information. And one day, after crying a lot about it when I was in the hospital, one day in the hospital I said, you know what? I can't control this. I can't fix this. I can't fix what's going to happen. But there's something I can fix, and that is my mindset. I need to change from feeling like a victim to a woman who can use positivity, who can do what the doctor asks, who can make, take all the right steps to see if I can make a difference in this. I don't know what's going to happen, but you know what? I can't sit here and cry about it anymore. I can't sit here and worry and drive myself crazy about what's going to happen. And so on that day, I reminded myself something. That in martial arts, I overcame so many barriers. Time was one. I had difficulty getting to classes. Breaking a board was another. I had a terrible fear 
initially of breaking a board. And there were so many other obstacles, kicking and learning to spar. I used to be really afraid of sparring. And each of those things I overcame and I thought, well, what's the difference right now? Yes, this is more important, obviously, but what's the difference in my mindset? Uh, I overcame those situations, so how can I apply that here? And that's exactly what the martial art mindset does. If you allow it, it can infiltrate your decisions in your life and what you're going to do, how you're going to see things. And from that day forward, I, I used a lot of uh, prayer, but I also used that martial art mindset to say, I'm going to overcome today. I'm going to see what this minute brings, and I'm going to make it the best minute I can. And if the doctor says to lay flat for six hours, I'm laying flat for six hours. I'm going to follow everything that the medical professionals tell me to do. I'm going to apply my martial art mindset, and I'm going to get through this the best way I can. And if something bad happens, I'll deal with it when it happens, but I'm not going to project right now that the worst is going to happen. And while I can't attribute my mindset to saving my baby, I did carry him to full term and everything worked out fine. But I do know that if not for the martial art mindset, for my own belief in my ability to overcome, that maybe it wouldn't have worked out that way. Maybe if I gave up, maybe if I, I let go and just decided that this is beyond my control and there's nothing I can do, that things would have turned out differently. I'll never really know. But I will say that the martial art mindset kept me on track. And so this is one example of how I feel like I saved a life because of martial arts. Not in the way that you might think, not because I was defending someone uh, out on the street who was getting beat up or because I was fighting someone physically, but I did use all of those skills mentally. I was fighting an opponent and I was in the ring uh, with the opportunity to fight back. And that's what I did. <laughs> So I just want to say to you, wherever you are in your life today, whatever obstacles you might be facing, that you can overcome in one way or another. And if things had gone awry for me, I still would have found a way to get through because I knew that I had the power of the martial arts in my mind and in my heart and in my actions and in my words. And that's a true benefit of martial arts. I don't know where you fall in the realm of, of difficult times, but wherever you are, I would say uh, remind yourself that you're a martial art woman and remind yourself that that means more than just practicing the physical martial arts. It means that you have the ability to push through when you need to. And that's an amazing thing that martial arts have taught me. Maybe you take a minute right now just to think about how you can apply martial arts to your life each and every day, whether it's at work or at home, or the minute you get a negative thought, realizing that you can turn that negative thought around. Just take a minute or two to focus on the things that you learn or you are learning in martial arts right now, or that you've learned in the past that you can apply to who you are and be seen as the person that you want to be. It's very exciting, really, when you think about it, that we have this opportunity to be empowered and to be successful. That's who we are, right? We are the martial arts women, and we're here to make a difference in the world. Well, thanks so much for listening to my very first podcast, which was really just a little bit of a reflection on who I am and what my goal is here. But in the future, I'll be having some great martial art women on the show, and I really look forward to it. I think that it's time for us to share our stories with the world, and this is one of the best ways that we can do it and get the messages out there to encourage women to try martial arts, 
to bond together as women in martial arts and to share some of our empowering stories about how martial arts have helped us in our daily lives and to overcome our obstacles. I hope you have a great day. Please hang in there and listen for more podcasts, episodes on the martial arts woman. I really look forward to sharing more insights with you and having some guests on the show. Have a beautiful day and remember, uh, keep pushing through. We'll chat again real soon and I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye everyone. Hey, it's Andrea Harkins. Welcome to the Martial Arts Women Podcast. This podcast is devoted to martial art women who make a difference. Today is a special day as we talk to Shannon Henry, a fourth degree black belt, co-owner of Grandmaster Dong's Martial Arts in Moorhead City, North Carolina. And she's also a homeschool mom of four and a published illustrator. Shannon is a great example of the livelihood and diversity of the martial arts woman. Before we get to Shannon's interview, let's recap about what the show is all about. Celebrating and highlighting martial art women around the globe. This is not just for high-ranking women in the martial arts or famous women, although they'll certainly be a part of this and I'll reach out to many of them to share their stories and insights. But the podcast is also dedicated to the everyday woman martial artist who has a story to share. And I know most women in martial arts have a unique vision, experience, situation, whatever you want to call it, to share. And their stories are interesting and intriguing and different. And that's why I wrote my first book, The Martial Arts Woman, was to get some stories out there into the world that people normally don't get to hear. That's what this podcast is about. And that's why I'm so excited to bring this information to you and to share these stories with you, because I think they're going to excite you and inspire and motivate you to pursue your dreams and continue on in your own personal journey. The podcast is all about martial art women and their unique and genuine stories. And I I personally find it fascinating, and I hope you do too. Um, If you know anything about me, you know that being genuine is truly a part of who I am. I really can't express myself in any other way than through a very genuine outlook. My blog is very personal, yet universal, I guess you could say, because the stories, the stories I tell are are my own, but somehow we all relate to them. And that's the beauty of this type of experience and this type of podcast. So I don't want to delay any longer, but I just wanted to chat with you a few minutes, wish you a fantastic day today, whatever's going on. I hope you're uplifted by some of the stories that you hear on the podcast. And please Send me your suggestions, and if you're interested in being on the show or you know someone who might be a great guest, just let me know. Reach out. Let's get back to Shannon Henry and her genuine personal story of being a woman martial artist today. I hope you enjoyed Shannon's perspective about being a martial art woman. And before you finish this podcast today, remember to think about your own goals and dreams. Allow Shannon and other martial art women inspire you to be your best, to achieve, to grow, and to be true to who you are. The martial arts woman is making a difference in the world. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you again real soon on the Martial Arts Woman podcast.